Hey everyone, it's Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. Boy, do I have a fun video for you today. At least it's fun for me, maybe. <laughs> I have an entire basket here of stamps that are my new release from Whippersnapper Designs and I wanna share them with you. I received them today and uh, I wanna uh, share them with you. So let's go ahead and take a look through this fun basket. So first of all, um, if you don't know, I'm an illustrator for Whippersnapper Designs. I've been illustrating for them for, oh my gosh, over 15 years. Um, so I have quite a bit of art with them. Uh, if you're wondering which images of mine on their website are mine, um, you can tell if the second letter in the number, um, the item number, has a T, a capital T, that those items are mine. So they don't categorize them by artist or anything like that. So uh, just uh, if you're wondering, just look for that T and those will be my uh, my images. So I have this cute new image coming out. It's called Bunny Croc. By the way, all of these are available now on their website, which is whippersnapperdesigns.com. And they are made in the USA in uh, Brookfield, Wisconsin. So super fun. I love this, um, the idea of a croc with all different kinds of things in it. And so since we were working on spring images, I started with a bushel of bunnies. <laughs> So, or maybe it's a crock of bunnies. <laughs> so there's the stamp itself. So I'm ex so excited to get to use these. <clears throat> there's this one here called Bunny Wagon. Little cuties in a little wagon there and they've picked some carrots. They also have some really nice stitching um, on them as well. Little buttons to hold their arms on. And there's the stamp. And then uh, the snowman in the um, tart tin was so popular um, this Christmas, um, we decided to go for a spring image as well in the tart tin. So here's a bunny. Uh, he's with some um, fabric carrots. And I think he's adorable too, or she, I guess, with the little flowers on her he um, head. Uh, the tart tin has a little button there on its wire. So love this. Also, here is a spring basket. This basket's full of chicks and eggs and daffodils. So cute. And there is that image. <clears throat> um, I like that the whippersnapper, um, that whippersnapper actually puts the size of the stamp um, on the packaging for you, in case I didn't show you that one. There's the back. So that you know exactly how big the image is. This next one is called Garden Angel, and I love her. I think she's so fun. I love her little delicate wings that have the hearts, and she's got a big basket here of hand-picked produce. She's got a seed packet in her apron and some garden gloves and some clippers, her pruners. And of course, uh, what is a gardener without <laughs> the um, area rabbit being a pest? <laughs> oh, and here's the back of that stamp. And this is Easter dress, and I think she is cute as can be. I love her little Sarah Jane shoes. So, and she's got curly, curly hair. <laughs> so I think she's adorable. Then there's Easter bonnet time. A little mama hen with her Easter bonnet on and a little chick. So cute. And then I have more bunnies. This is Bunny Basket Trio. And those uh, hand-stitched bunnies again popping up. The heart on here, you can't actually tell in the colored image, but the heart has some really beautiful scroll work um, at the top of it here. You probably can see it in the stamp. So that's kind of a fun little detail. Cute. And what I like about this one too, the basket doesn't have a handle. Um, so many times you see baskets with handles, I wanted one that didn't have a handle so that I could feature all those ears. This one is called Lady Cluck. <laughs> I love the flowers on her uh, crown there. <laughs> you can just see her, she's probably like the boss of the barnyard. Here we go with Family Easter Basket. 
again a little mama hen and she's got a chick up here with a bow on the side of her head and then she's got a little chick down here with a bow on his belly and then there's nice detail in the basket there and this this basket does have a great big handle a couple easter eggs there fun 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 i am gonna be busy um here is bucket of sunflowers and i love these bees i love drawing bees I love drawing bees and some flowers. <laughs> so this stamp is like right up my alley. There's the back. This is parade time. So this cute little gal in her uh, July 4th dress. She's got cute little baubles on her head that are stars. She's waving the flag. And she's wearing Mary Jane shoes too. Almost like a, a saddle shoe. They've got a little extra detail there on the side. So cute. <laughs> then um, another tart tin. Uh, we went with a patriotic tart tin. So here's Uncle Sam tart tin. And I love him. He is sitting here amongst some hand-stitched um, stars. He's got an American flag. He's got a really fun detail on his hat with a little flag poking out of his hat band. And then his um, tart tin uh, wire has a little bell. So I love him and I'm so excited to have him. Then at the parade, we also have Wagon of Paws because what's a parade without a wagon of puppies and kitties? <laughs> so I love all their cute little faces. And there's that stamp. And did I show you Uncle Sam? I'm not sure. I think he's awesome. Awesome, awesome. And then we have Cup of Love. And I love this one too. A little tea bag hanging out there. And then I also have, um, sticking with the um, beverage theme, I have Love Latte. Isn't that cute? And there's the back. Then I have Hearts of Love Coffee. And I have a whole bunch of these, um, this coffee cup uh, with the different bands. Uh, for Whippersnapper. They uh, they love this idea, so they're always asking me to um, draw different coffee cup bands. So I say absolutely. They're fun to draw and fun to dream up. So here's another one, Bee Coffee. Isn't that cute? So, and they're really um, simple to fussy cut, so you can um, add them to your projects really easily. They make really cute little gift tag um, covers, um, gift card covers, and things like that. Really cute, more of those really cute bees. And there's the back of that stamp. And the back of the loved one. So those are fun to have. And then one last large image before I share all the sentiments with you. I have a mom's country shelf. And I love this. So there's a pitcher with some um, daisies or black eyed Susans. There's a little doll. She's got striped legs. You could color her like a Raggedy Ann doll, but I colored her hair uh, blonde. She's got cute little Sarah Jane shoes on. There's a beautiful old country candle. There's a plant, some books. Uh, one of them says recipes, the other one says garden. And then there's this cute stuffed chicken here sitting on a box. They're all sitting on a cute wooden shelf that has a tin heart and some candles hanging on the pegs uh, with a heart cut out. So I absolutely love this image. And there's that back of that one there. So fun, I love it, love it, love it. I don't know which one I'm gonna use first. Let me go ahead and share the sentiments that I did this uh, release. I have happy days are here again. Warm, uh, with warm thoughts of you. And these are a really nice size. Home sweet home. Yahoo! <laughs> Love that one. And then there are more. There is Sending Wishes for an Easter Filled with Joy. 
baskets of love. Thanks in a great big font. Well, big compared to what we're, you know, working with here. It is a good day to have a good day. Pause down. You are the best. <laughs> Begin each day with a grateful heart. And a few more. Some bunny loves you. Right? I had to have some bunny sayings. Happy Easter. In that beautiful script font. Happy Spring. And let's celebrate. So um, I am so excited to have all these images to play with. Um, I hope you find something in here that uh, you, speaks to you and your creativity. And uh, please check out the Whippersnapper Designs website where you can purchase these images. Uh, they don't actually sell wholesale anymore, so you'll have to pick them up from Whippersnapper directly. But uh, yes, so excited to have these. And um, I look forward to all the projects that I get to create with them. So I will certainly be sharing those with you and we'll probably do some process videos as well. So enjoy your weekend, everyone. I hope uh, spring settles in around you soon. We are supposed to get some really, really cold weather here, like in the single digits uh, this upcoming week. Um, and our highs are supposed to be only in the, like the teens. Um, so it's going to get really, really cold here. So we'll be putting up the critters and making sure everybody is nice and tucked away in warm spots. So enjoy your weekend and everyone have a great one. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.